Hey, it's Amy with Amy Groff Fine Art. Today, I just wanted to talk about the biggest misconception about being creative. The biggest misconception about being creative is that if you're good at drawing, that means you're creative. If you have um, painting skills, that means you're creative. They're completely two different things. Having technical skill and being creative are not the same and I'll explain why. So when I first started oil painting, um, I had always done acrylics my entire life and I was always scared of oils because of, um, you couldn't thin them with water. So <laughs> that alone intimidated me. So when I first started with oil painting, I of course um, started watching Bob Ross on Netflix, okay? So watching him, was really awesome because I'm like oh oil paints aren't that scary like that's totally fine so I began doing the paintings that he showed on his the joy of painting series so for instance this one was one I don't even know what it was titled but um this was one from his joy of painting series and I did that no creativity on my part whatsoever I was just doing what he told me I was practicing my technical skill okay um I was never very creative. People would always say, you know, see me drawing or painting when I was younger, oh, you're so creative. And I was like, oh, thanks, yeah. But I really wasn't, and I didn't know the difference between the two. Uh, I wasn't coming up with ideas on my own. I would take a picture and paint it, or I would see, um, you know, see flowers on the road and pick one, put them in a vase, and I'd paint a still life. Like, I wasn't coming up with these original ideas. I was working on a technical skill that I was born with. Some people are skilled in math. Some people are skilled um, with cooking. You know, everyone has different skills. My skill was painting. Um, but coming up with things to do on my own, could not do. And I never understood the difference. And it's something that I didn't really start to grasp until my AP art class in high school, when we were given a project to do and then given total freedom, like my concentration. I could pick whatever I wanted to study with whatever medium I wanted, and the rest was up to me. So that was kind of like my first little glimpse into this creativity. And honestly, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, wait, I no one's really telling me exactly what to do. I don't have this thing in front of me. Like, ah, and it was really hard for me. <laughs> then I kind of, you know, married, kids, all that kind of stuff, lost track of that for a while. Um, and then it just started happening again a few years ago when I started painting again. It's like, I couldn't come up with these ideas. I'd have to find a picture and then paint it. Um, you know, watch these Bob Ross videos and do what he showed me. Like, um, this one, another one, same thing. I, there's nothing, I think nothing creative about this at all. I was practicing my technical skill with oil paints. Same thing. This is another Bob Ross one. No creativity on my part. I was practicing technical skill. Okay. And this one was not a Bob Ross. This was one I did from a photo that the lighting, sorry, the lighting is horrible. Um, this was from a photograph I took down at the river. Again, no creativity on my part. I just painted my picture. I was practicing my technical skill. So if you like art and you don't feel like, oh, you're like, well, I'm not, I'm not creative. That doesn't really matter. Um, or maybe you're super creative and you're always coming up with the different crafts to do, but your technical skill is lacking. You can learn them. You can learn both. So no matter if you're better with te technical skill or better at being creative and coming up with ideas, you can learn the other one. For me, I was good with the technical skill and was not so good with creativity. I'm learning now to be creative. I'm learning how to um, really tap into that side of me. It's not something that I think I was necessarily born with, but I'm learning it. And as I'm learning how to be creative and how to trust my instincts and how to come up with my own original ideas, that's now, as I'm building my technical skills, they're merging together and I'm becoming a better artist. So if you're already creative and have these wonderful ideas, you just are having trouble executing, just keep practicing, keep look, watching tutorials on YouTube, keep researching how to do things and keep practicing and you will get better. Um, an example of some more paintings that I have. So this one, like I said, not creative, all technical. This one, 
I started to get some creativity going on. This was a photograph that I had taken. Again, poor lighting, I apologize. These are my two youngest children. And I, it's a photo I had taken of them um, walking back from our neighbor's house to our house. And in the background there was our house and like it was just not a very nice background. And this umbrella was black and I think he was wearing different clothing. I don't know, anyway, I took that my house out. I made a different background for this picture because I wanted it to look different. Um, I pretty much, the only thing that is in this picture that was in the photograph are my kids and the umbrella. I even changed the color of the umbrella and I just practiced to see what would happen. It's a lot of trial and error. So there was kind of branching out with my creativity a little bit. And the next one that I did where I started to be a little more creative on um, this oil painting, I did, oh my gosh, this lighting is so bad. Maybe go this way. Is that a little better? Anyway, not really. Um, it is like a very generic seascape, but I was in such a bad mental state when I painted this. I didn't have a reference photo or anything. I was just in a bad mental place with um, a condition that I have, and I can talk about that in another video. Um, and this made me feel better. It was with stormy skies, and I have some seagulls over here, um, you know, just after a storm, and it's like, okay, it, it will get better. We'll get through the storm and it will, it always gets better. So that was some creativity that I was working on. Um, again, I didn't have a reference picture. I was just coming up with my own idea for how I felt, which is so much of what art is, you know. We'll go into that another time. Um, I was playing with abstracts for a while. Again, this is another, this was some technical skill, but I learned how to be creative here. There's, um, this is acrylic and a lot of different texture mediums on here. I was playing with these different um, supplies and this, is an example of a creative piece. Another create, here's another abstract that I had done again when I was um, having a rough time dealing with what I was dealing with. And then here's one I'm working on of my daughter. Again, this was a photo I'd taken of her. I don't know where the reference photo is, but it was not this bokeh background. Um, so I took that out and put that in and putting her on top. So that's a little more of the creative than just copying the photograph. I'm sort of merging my skill and creativity now to make pieces of art that are different and that aren't just, you know, from a photo I got off Pixabay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be changing her dress to purple too, like all these different things. So again, just to reiterate my point that if you don't think you're creative um, and or you are thinking that artistic skill is directly related to creativity. It's not. They're two separate things. You can learn them both. If you have one, you can learn the other. That's really, really what I wanted to talk to you about. So, yeah, I hope you learned something. I hope you're encouraged to um, keep trying, to keep um, working on your technical skill, to keep pushing yourself. Um, there's some really good, if you go on Pinterest, there's some really good art prompts on there that I was doing, like even just for a sketchbook to try and help you boost your creativity and um, just come up with these these ideas on your, on your own. So that's really, there's some really good resources out there um, for you to do and so many technical um, resources too if you want to work on your technical skills. So there you have it. I'll see you guys next time.